All right, and hello guys. So by popular demand, I will be showing you guys how to install some of the transformer mods for Fall of Cybertron. There are two methods to doing this. Uh, some mods require the TFC installer. Other mods are just you drag them into your game files to install them, and then you take them out to uninstall them. So I'm going to be showing you how to do both. So, um, we have this mod, which is War for Cybertron Optimus. Uh, this one uses the TFC installer, which we will need to install it, obviously. So let's go ahead and download that. We'll also go ahead and download this. Next, uh, I'm going to download a couple more mods uh, that have different ways of install. This one uses TFC installer as well. So we can just go ahead and download that. This one also uses TFC installer. So we'll go ahead and download that. And then this one does not use TFC installer. This one is just a uh, normal uh, in the files drag and drop. So we'll go ahead and download this one as well. One. Actually, we'll download both of them. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, let everything install. All right, so now that you have everything downloaded and extracted, we're going to start off with the TFC installer. So for these mods, it's pretty simple. You're just going to open TFC installer and find the TFC installer.exe. You're going to want to open that. Now you're going to want to find your game. The game folder is wherever your game is, which for me, since I have the Steam version, is going to be located in Steam. A very easy way of doing this is going into your is going to your Steam, right clicking, go to manage, and then browse local game files. Go up here, control C, copy it, and then go back into here, and then just control V, copy paste it, and then hit enter, and then just select the folder. Now we need to find the mod folder. So an easy way to tell if this is a TFC mod, if it doesn't explicitly state it, uh, you can just go inside the folder, and then normally it'll look like this. It'll have a game. Um, this guy did it a little differently, but normally it'll look more in line of this, where they have exports, imports, and then my mod. Same thing goes for the Optimus mod. They again have these three folders, which makes it very easy for identifying it. And then sometimes they'll have it where it's named something else. So this normally would be called my mod, but they changed the file name. So it's just, so, but it's still the more or less the exact same. So you want to find the mod folder, which for me is on my desktop. And so now you want to go ahead and find the mods. So we have Optimus, and you want to select My Mod, and then select the folder, and then just hit Update. So now everything's installed. We're going to go ahead and open our game. And now we'll just go ahead and open an Optimus level. And now you can see that the mod has obviously taken effect. He is now his War for Cybertron appearance. So now we're going to show you that you can, in fact, stack these mods. So, easiest way to do that, 
you click mod folder and then you're just going to go ahead and find another mod that you want so we'll go ahead and download all the mods and now again he did his a little differently because he named his this rather than my mod so what we want to do is we're just going to go in until you see game so you want to go back one just select that and then select folder and then update you'll know you selected the wrong folder if it says it failed to find a mod all right so now we're just going to go ahead and open the game again All right, so first we'll see Optimus. Optimus has obviously changed. So now we're going to go ahead and check on Soundwave. Make sure that he also changed. And Soundwave has changed. He now has his yellow eyes. And then to check on Megatron. And Megatron works as well. So these are pretty easy. Now I'm going to show you the other method of installing a mod. So before we do these, you want to make sure that you uninstall them. Okay, because they will mess up both of the mods. So these two mods right here are what I call the drag and drop. So what you want to do is you want to find your game files. Which again on Steam, just right click, go to manage, browse local files. And then you want to go into trans game, cooked PC, and then you want to go ahead and create a folder and title it mods. So now inside the mods folder, now what you want to do is you want to just take the mod that you want and put it in here. And that's it. So now if we go ahead and open our game, we should have Skybound Optimus. And for this mod, we got to make sure that we have G1 Optimus, because that's the one that we did. And there we go. So these ones are pretty easy. If you want to uninstall them, all you have to do is just take them out of the mods folder doesn't matter exactly where you put it as long as it's not in the game files so just take it move it out and now the mod is uninstalled stacking mods in this game is a little finicky and just very weird i'm not too versed in stacking i just know that tfc installer mods can be stacked no matter what some stuff does get overridden so you're gonna have to figure out the install order as to what you should install first, what you should install last, and etc. With the drag and drop method, it is all just whichever ones do not affect each other. So since both Skybound mods do affect each other, cutscenes will be eh, but gameplay will be fine because they're not overriding each other in gameplay. Sorry if that sounds a little confusing, it is a little confusing. So when it comes to stacking, it's just trial and error is all I'm trying to say. I'm not too well versed in stacking, except for obviously TFC installers. All mods will have a link in the description. Everything will be in the description. So if you're looking for anything you've seen in the video, or if you're looking for the TFC installer or anything, it'll be in the description. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I tried my very best to explain it. I'm hoping it was simple to understand, but again, if you guys have any questions, 
please ask in the comments below. And also, since the video did get 20 likes, I will be releasing the G1 Optimus Bumblebee mod. So that mod will be released. Um, I'm still working on the Shattered Glass Optimus mod. I'm having a little bit of issues trying to get him to work in the campaign. Or not in the campaign, but in the cutscenes. So I might just release him as a gameplay only mod at the moment, which will kind of suck. But I'm trying to figure out a way to put him in the actual cutscenes, as that is something I want to do. And I will have a pretty cool Megatron mod coming out in the next couple of days, hopefully. So you can have that to look forward to. Oh, and if you guys have not seen the Cosmos video that my um, good friend Brush Ranger did, please go check that out. Link to that video will also be in the description. Amazing video. Highly recommend. Definitely needs way more views than it already has. But that's uh, enough of my rambling. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.